Good evening, everybody. I'm coming to you late tonight. This day disappeared. I was on the phone with my sister. We were just chit-chatting and talking about things. And it always happens when I get on with my sister. Even though we only say we're going to talk for a couple minutes, we always talk longer than that. And I forgot my scissors. I forgot my scissors and everything around my table is falling on me. That's how, where are my scissors? Where are my scissors? I need my scissors. Oh, whoops. I dropped them. That's what happens when you do videos late at night. It doesn't happen just at late at night for me. It can happen any time. So, um, I didn't do a video Wednesday. Didn't do a video Thursday. I was feeling uncreative, so I just fussy cut it. You know, when I still made sure I was working on something. Um, I tried to work on clusters, couldn't get clusters come together. I have them sitting here waiting for me to finish. Uh, it was just like nothing was coming together. I tried working on this that I'm putting together. It didn't come together. Oh my goodness. I have a few purple pockets on the go right now. And I'm going to bring the other one in. I only... Because I wanted to do what we're doing. I wanted to make sure I kind of did a couple for them. And even my mask making tags are sitting here. Or what we call stack your stash. And that's what we're going to do tonight. We didn't do a video today, uh, this week for... Maybe I'll do one tomorrow. Normally I don't do much on weekends. But I might try to because I'm going to... I want to do a few things. So what you need to do... You'll need scissors... You'll need a glue stick or whatever type of glue you use. And you'll need, for me, I grabbed some, I didn't grab enough music pages and enough book pages. I grabbed book pages, and I don't have a lot of big book pages. But I grabbed some book pages. I grabbed only three music pages. I don't know why. I grabbed, for me, I grabbed some digitals because that's what I wanted in my envelopes um, you can use dyed paper um, whatever you can reuse scrapbooking paper if you have it I don't use a lot of scrapbooking paper this will have to leave um, that was because I was showing some things and I'm gonna bring this over and I've got scraps Oop, scraps sitting here now I gotta lift that basket up that mat and look see I got I'm like I pulled this out for my something blue that I'm working on so I had found it and pulled it out so and of course I've got this junk now well it's not junk it is not junk it is practicable useful things so we're gonna do a couple of styles here um the ones I, I like very simple, this is like, like stack your stash envelopes. Now, you'll want different size paper because depending on what you're going to use them for. Um, there's one size that I'll show, but I probably won't glue it because I probably wouldn't use that much. Unless I'm putting a package together, I might use it, but really and truly I won't. Now, this is by treasure book she has this one where she does really unique pockets now i left this like this so i could remember what i was doing and i think this one isn't her yes it is um no it's not this is another style i do where it has to be a complete square for this style so you have to have it has to be the same width and height and then you turn it this way and you meet in the middle and then you bring up and then you fold here. Now you can leave this envelope the way it is, right? Um, and it's ready to go in your stash. I'm going to, I'll glue this right now. So basically it's a, a squ square and then you're going to take the sides, meet up, really simple. 
except for you got to make sure you're good at measuring. Sometimes I'm off by a little bit. I don't worry too much if I'm off a little and then you can fold it over. Now when I do these ones, I'm, I won't tear this one, but I make this certain style and I'm, I'm, I gave some of the away. So I need to kind of make a few more. I'm just going to put a little glue on that tip, but I got to, um, the, this is kind of easy other than making sure it's a square. So like if you have the six by six square scrapbooking paper, I've have some of that. I should have checked it because some of it's not really thick, right? So like this is a little off here, but you know what? I'm not worried. I can go and trim this little piece off. I'm not worried about that guys. It's, it's a junk journal. I want perfection to the most part, but you know, sometimes those little quirky see, and I didn't put enough glue because I'm always worried that I'm going to glue the envelope in the wrong place. Whoops. Right. So I never see that side. I put enough glue and I put it too far up here. So you got to use your brain more than what I just did, but that's easy. Like I'll just leave this in for a few minutes and keep that up. And then with the glue stick, it dries and I never have to worry. This is the same thing. I took, um, this old paper. I have, I found an old sketchbook and it's really nice. And what I did is I did the square, but the top I took off. So you're not going to see a complete square because it's missing its top already because I like pockets like this. Now I haven't closed this one because I want to ink it all. So I haven't closed it because I do these and that's what that's going to turn into in that other music page. I tear, you don't have to tear the top off if you want to leave it in, but I, this is what I want. Do I have another sample of it? I only have a couple left because... I made quite a few, but I, I gave them away. And again, oh, I have a few. Yes, I do. I just put them down further, right? So you can mass make these as well, which I plan to do as well, but I'm not ready to do all the measuring right now. We're going to do easy ones. So I plan to mass make these as well. And that way, one day when I'm doing my clusters and I'm using my lace in that, I'll just pull these out with my clusters because this is like a cluster on it, right? So I do these like this. These are great to do as Happy Mail. They make great pockets, everything like that, right? So they're, you know, that's what I do that. And I make them in different sizes. So this would be cute in the little... You know, this could be even if you had, a, you know, you wanted to do a journal card with a pocket. I don't, it's kind of bulky for me because you would put it inside something. But I think this is really cute. And if you have a smaller journal, it can go, on, especially when you have a smaller page, it's really cute. Right? So, or you could put a couple, couple of them on a page if you want it to. So that's what I make those ones for. And that's what I had those for. And I had shown this in something else, but I just still had them on my desk. So another day I will mass make those or what we'll do is we'll make some of these. That'll be a future video. I got to move that because my papers I need are up there. Okay. So the ones we're going to do, and now I didn't watch all of her videos and I should have because there's so many different styles she does. And if I can remember, I will link the video. And I'm going to do some more of her other style too. Now the first, the easiest part about this style is you don't have to do, she doesn't measure, she doesn't do any of that. This is a book page. I tore it out. You can see the edges. And basically, I left them like this so that I would remember. You fold, you give yourself a crease, you fold it up. Now you can mass make them and leave them like that and then take the corners. But what she does is she does two things. 
you can first we'll do some what she calls a little bit more wonky and trust me I haven't done these in a while and so so she kind of doesn't follow anything this is the line that would come off and then she doesn't take away much from that folded part I'm going to take a little bit of that rough she goes back in and then she does another kind of a wonky curve to the top they're kind of they're called wonky she calls them wonky envelopes all right so I don't even I don't even have to worry about that really and then come down and there we go then you fold that in you fold that and then you try to make sure that this is pretty even you try you can trim it off it's a wonky one and it folds over and you got a nice wonky pocket now let's finish this I didn't bring ink and of course I want to ink this because with book pages you really do want them to stand out somewhat who's watching me trying to figure out what I'm doing because she's not used to this time of night um, me doing the video so she's like what's going on it's normally quiet time usually I sleep by the box at this time of night and you pet me and, and you do your art and then I get on the desk and disturb you because <laughs> I want cuddle time so so you're just gonna go ahead if you don't want to ink you don't have to but I think with sometimes with these you want it you can decide how much you want to ink it she calls these her wonky envelopes and she does another style and I forgot to watch it before starting this video I was afraid my brain would forget it all if I did them all because sometimes when I'm watching her video I, I'll mass make with somebody's video so I'll usually what I'll do is I'll watch it all the way through grab the stuff I want and then I'll do the one style what are you doing behave over there she's playing with the string and knocked over things I had a string hanging from one of my drawers and when she pulled it there were things on top of it so you might want to like there I might want to kind of fix that a little because it's bending a little This might not be your style. I don't do a lot of the wonky. I just do a few, but they are pretty nice. Now we want to ink this up. And what I think I want to do, I don't think I want that sharp corner. So I'm just going to edge that around. Tonight, Fridays are busy for me. Um, well, first I slept in a little. An hour longer than I normally like to do during the week, but um, normally I make Jacob's lunch at night and it's all ready and I don't have to get up in the morning. I used to have to get up in the morning to help with Jacob, but Andre finally got the hang of it on his own. When Jacob first started school, Andre's not a morning person. Well, me neither. I'm not a morning person at all either, but I would help get Jacob going because Jacob sometimes... T has got is good at getting him to do things. She has fun ways of doing it. And Andre just doesn't have that same type of patience as I do to do the silliness. I do counts. Okay, let's see if we can how many how long will it take to get your coat on? And I'll start counting. And I count it funny. One more two. No, 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 it's three now. And I'll do funny voices like that. and Or I'll change it with each number, you know. And so then he laughs and gets dressed. And I get him off the moon because he's a moon boy. It's a part of um, his... Uh, yeah, the word went out of my head. So there you go. It's a wonky envelope. Now you can make it more wonky if you want it and I don't like it doesn't feel straight enough to me so I'm just well, yeah there we go that's better that is better and then 
you glue up your sides. You just got to look to see where that pocket Pika is somewhere. I'm just I'm I'm waiting for her to come running. I just fed them so they're last feeding for the night. They get their dinner and then they get a snack at night because I have to give Boo Boo small meals or she gobbles too much, so I give her small meals. So they just got their last feeding. Even though she'll try begging me in a little bit for more food. And then she'll finally give up because I don't give in. So there you go. There's your wonky envelope. All right. Now, what this is cute for is then when you go to embellish it, right? Like you can do a nice paper embellishment. What kind of... What I really need to do... Um. I really need to work on some... Some I lost the word until it's late at night because I'm losing my words and I don't know where I put them I put them away for once They're... that's why the reason I was saying I was trying different things because I was trying to find the creative flow so then what I like to use on these is I like to pull out a cluster and you can put a cluster on it or you could put a small cluster here um, you could pull in I made these frames that I might put up on my site, but these are some that didn't turn out. But I didn't throw them away because I thought they were perfect on the edge of a paper or they'd be great in collaging. So I didn't throw them out because what happened is they only print because of um, the style of paper I was printing on. It was a different, it didn't, the width was different and everything. So sometimes it was just white paper. So you could go in here and the do I'm sorry I should have maybe not done a video um right so you could collage down here if you want it to before you fold it this up if you want it to cover this you could um but then you can just you know you can pull in a pocket and decorate it however you want um whatever you know if you want to just do the bottom or you could put where you put so that it clips under and hold shut now we're not decorating because we are we are stacking our stash right so depending you might even want to leave it open type thing on your page um so depending on the size you make too this could be a cute way of adding some little elements in it and sticking it just in right so you might depending on how you slide it so we're just mass making these to keep on hand and it's nice to have different styles on hand so there's one and I did a small because that's just the book page so I just took the size of the book page and did that she is upstairs yet meowing away because she has she has a toy that she captures and it's too late. Normally I call her during the day and she'll bring it to me. But I can't call up at this time of night. So I'm just hoping soon she'll realize it and just bring it to me. There we go. I just keep seeing. So that's, you know, I and I did a couple because I played around, right? Then the other thing you can do, let's make more wonky and then we'll go to the other. So again, we're just going to... You can make it much wider at the bottom. That all depends on what you want to do. Um, sometimes if you need to, you could take where the four corners meet. You could put a little dot if you need to know exactly. Some papers, it's not as easy to see where it is. So you can do that too. Like this one, it's a little bit harder to tell where that other line is right so you could make it much more wonky i'm not good with that type of stuff i don't know why oh this paper it it it's holding to its so down around around I think 
I short change that by a little bit. And I think I want to bring that even. Now I'm not throwing out some of these strips because this is good for collaging or for clusters. So even though it's folded, I can just, you know, so like these, some of these strips are perfect for that. Don't waste it. This one I am going to do. That'll make a good... There we go. And then this. This is uh, a music paper. It almost... It's... It almost has a plastic feel to it. It's very, it's, this one is antique. This is in the 1920s, this one is from. So here we go again. And this time we did a little bit more of a wonkier top. And this is very fragile. I just tore it a little here. But you know what? I'm not worried about that because when I go to put it or do anything, I could put a little piece of washi tape over that at, or along it. Let's do that just because we can. What do I have here in washi tape? What Do I have anything pretty neutral? Not really. I have this washi... This. We could put... Let's not put it upside down. And the only thing I might do... I do want to make this... This is the only thing you've got to watch with the vintage, um, sorry, the antique, more antique paper is the fact that it is more fragile. So you have to be prepared for that. So that's all we'll do. And even like where it's tearing here. I could go back. See, I'm, I'm some things like when you like this is going to fall off, I think, unless I put some washi, which I can do later. I can put a nice strip of washi to decorate it up. All right. So, and I really did not, I really cut that one short. Ooh, I didn't do a good job on that. I knew I had gone in too much on that. Remember, I said that, but that's okay. What we will do is when I glue it, I'll show you what you can do. We want to first ink a bit and be with, if you have, um, I learned something and I know I said this in the last video, but just in case anybody new is watching, there's a difference between vintage and antique. Um, vintage is under, is up to 50 years. So the like 80s would be vintage, 70s. 60s 50s but when you get into the 19 i think 1940s and 1930s and things like that then it becomes antique and i always thought it was the other well i always i never knew when to use the word antique and now i do up to 50 years is vintage more than 50 years is antique now see how that's tearing so that's where it's going to be important to reinforce that and there's several ways you can do that you could put a strip of paper um of course i cleaned up all my paper so well earlier to clean this desk up because i did i'm playing around with tiktok i'm trying to do more tiktok because believe it or not on average these videos get about 50 views but in one hour on tiktok i got 680 views so you could take, and I would use a color and, you know, cover that up and then fold it over or use washi tape if you're going to use something that's a little bit more fragile. And I'm going to do that. We're going to complete this one so I can show you how you can still use some of these. Oh, I told you she'd come sooner or later. There she is. She had to make her, her appearance. For a few minutes she's it's because my desk isn't as crowded right now and we're gonna once I ink this I don't have to ink that side 
What, baby? You want me to pet you, but I'm busy. Yes, I'm busy. Okay, for a second, I'll pet you. No, no, don't push that stuff. Don't push that stuff. Don't put your scent all over it and push it all on the floor. No. She is my cutie pie. I almost lost her, and it was very tra traumatic for me because I had only had her about six months. So it would have been seven months since my Guido had passed away, and I had Guido for 18 years. I had We lived in an apartment, and we were on the fourth floor, and I had left the window open just a wee bit because I needed air. We didn't have air conditioning, and it was a hot, hot night, and I left it open a little bit, and she was a little kitten, and she was always a tiny, tiny kitten. Um, and again, you could make that look more antique-ish by bending it up. Like, you could leave it like this. All right, and sometimes what I'll do, and I'm going to do that here, is I just take and I just glue that down, All right? And then you just, so, because it, it, you know, it is old. It is what it is. And so, and the vet had told me probably if she hadn't pushed so hard to get through the window, she probably wouldn't have fallen but she fell four floors and it's all cement all the way down. It's cement when she hits down and there was, thank God, there was only one balcony underneath us and she didn't hit any of the, the big cement balconies on her way down. But she landed on pretty much, she said on her front, because there's no damage done to the back of her. So she kind of landed on her front paws and a little bit face first. So she had fractured her palate. I had to remove several teeth. I had to repair her palate. Um, and she had to wear a cast. She, um, she cracked her, basically broke her paw. And her face was really bad. I, it, we spent hours trying to find her. I could not find her, but I knew if she had fallen, she couldn't have gotten far. And she was a young thing. And we were going around our apartment calling her Pika, Pika. And I was crying and I had her favorite treats and I was shaking the treats. And at one point I kept thought I kept hearing something. And Andre kept telling me, no, it, you're hearing a baby. You're hearing a baby. All you're hearing is a baby. And I was getting desperate and there was... I don't know. Somebody told me to start looking around. They'll try to hide because she's not an outdoor cat. Look around for a pile or a place where she could curl up and hide. And I I don't know why it got really quiet. And I called her one more time. And I heard this faint meow. And there was some, I guess they had done some work and up against the building. Just around the side from my place. my Where she fell was here. And she was over here of the building. Right? And she was... There was some wood piled up, like leaning up against, and she was behind there. Um, even when I first saw her, I just started crying, and I, you know, I realized she had come down, and I picked her up and got her into the carry cage, and my friend Nicole and her sister Stephanie came and picked me up right away, and we went to, it was a Saturday, so no vets were open, so I'd take her to emergency. I'll tell you, it took me two years to pay off all the surgery. <laughs> But she's alive, and oh, I had, I had never cried so much. Well, when I put Guido to sleep, um, and boy, I was a mess. I was a mess. Um, but she came through it. Came through it. She's got a scuff on permanent on her face, on her chin, where she must have hit. But the fur. Oh, I keep. I keep meaning to do this spot, guys. Um, and you would never guess she fell. She's always walking up high places. Get, trying to get into places up as high as she can on shelves. And I'm like, Pika, have you not learned? So, and then one time when we moved up to St. Jerome, she got outside. I, when Gab came home late from work, she snuck out the door and she spent all night. And I tell you, I... Well, again, in a panic, I couldn't find her. 
This time she hadn't fallen. She was neat and she stayed out all night. Okay, so here we go. We're going to glue this. And I'm talking way too much. That's the tired me. Yep, 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 yep. More when I'm tired. So I'm thankful that, you know, and of course, because she had to, it was an emergency vet place, it cost me more, of course. And of course, there's the cost that, of staying. And dental is very expensive for cats. Very few, um, well, in our area where was, they said there's only four vets that like do the type of dental work she needed to repair the palate and everything. So, of course, you're paying for that, right? So, ah, but, you know, she made it through and I'm thankful for that. Because I just was, I just was not ready to lose another cat. I mean, I have lost cats throughout my life. We've always had lots of cats. Um, and when I was young, it was always difficult. We had outdoor cats, right? So they went outside and often, sometimes never came home. So I, I understand that. But at the same time, I think as a kid, you rebound more. I don't know if that's true. I just feel like it didn't affect me the same way as it did as an adult. Um, but Guido went through a very difficult time in my life with me when I thought I, when they found large uh, lumps on my uterus. They happened to be fibroids, but at the time we weren't sure if it was cancer. And I spent many nights crying and I also then found out I would never be able to have children, you know, and for me that was devastating and Guido would lay beside me. So I had that, you know, he went through something with me, right? So let's see, this is where that washi tape, and again, it decorates it, it makes it more secure it, and I'm going to put it on both sides because it's still tearing there, right? So but it's a, I, it's a pretty washy. I love that washy. I don't even know where I got that one from. It was probably Michael's. But I still got lots of it, so I'm not too worried yet. So when I, I lost Guido, it was, it was hard. It was very hard. He was my partner in crime. And these girls are kind of the same. They've gone through some life-changing experiences with me as I lost my job and gone through some serious health issues and, you know, and especially with the depression. It was like, even when I was sick with COVID, like they were always close by. And like, at first I, I read something where you can't, shouldn't keep your cats around you. Well, that would be impossible for me, not just me, them. So, but they, one was sleeping on the back of the couch and one, there's a table behind the couch that I have a blanket that's close to the heater that Pika likes. She likes to cuddle there. I should have put more there, but it's still, it's still okay. I'm not worried. But that's a good way to reinforce it. Right? So that, because that's where it's going to be folded a lot. And then you still have lots and I am going to do the same here. Now, if you you can always change up. And if you noticed, I used um, glue because washi has washi tape does lose its, you know, its uh, what stickiness. So the glue helps strengthen it. And I don't know how long we've been going, and I haven't done much. Maybe I've been talking too much. Blue, blue, blue. Just talking too much. So I want to go half. I'm going to have to cut this to fold it over. And so that'll just, of course, strengthen that. envelope up. There we go.
There's that wonky envelope. And I'm not worrying about this because it's a wonky envelope. So there we go. There's another one ready to go. And like I said, I probably am not going to do too many wonky ones. But doing that same concept. Let's pull out a, another book page. So just fold it over. Try to measure you could if you are somebody who wants it measured go ahead and measure it but you don't necessarily have to and then you just figure out how far up you want to go Trying to use that more often because my hands are starting to heal so I'm trying to not use my hands as much because I do this a lot with the paper okay so now you got those lines and the only thing this time we're not doing wonky but we want to get rid of that and you want to get rid of it on this side I'm almost wondering if, but I can't use a ruler. It's not that easy. And I probably should put my glasses down and it would probably help me see better. Because I didn't cut that very straight, but I'm not worried. I'm not worried, guys. And if it's not straight enough and it looks silly, I just turn it into a wonky one. right and like for me I don't want it that square so I'm going to go in here and round it up a bit and take it down a bit the same here I'm going to take and just round my corners up here just you can leave it that way you could take a corner rounder if you want it to right if you want a square, you leave it square. I'm gonna I'll end up doing both. And now you'll see that I didn't do a very good job at cutting there, but it still looks okay. Then I'm just gonna before I glue it, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut to make my envelope shape. Okay. Plain and that's pretty easy. And this way you don't have to work, make sure that it's, you know, a 6x6 six six or a 12x12 12 12 or whatever. And look how easy that is to make. And I'm going to have to check the time. Oh, I should have inked that. Oh, well, we'll have to, we'll just pop it up real quick. This dab for some reason, I'm not liking it much. That's the only one I have to worry about because then I can just and you don't have to ink these up in your mask make unless you want to and there you go there's another one done then let's pull out let's look at the time I'm gonna try to put together this really funky paper pack that I'm going to put in my store. I have wallpaper. I have all kinds of different packs. Oh, 39. We're still going, doing good, guys. We're still doing good. Okay. Like, like look at these cool papers. I look at that. And I'm going to do a bundle up of some of these cool papers. That's mine. I designed that. So it's one I want to do. This is textiles. Then I'm going to do a textile bundle. But I really want to see how this one turns out. These ones turn out in a pocket. Let's put this washi tape back in that corner. That basket is in my way. 
and my pillow on the back of my chair fell. I was cold, so I wrapped up in a blanket again. And it's kind of nice here. It's kind of scary how nice it is here. So again, no measuring, taking it in. I print it on both sides because I don't I didn't want the white on this. So I took one of my thing and I just so you go in. I think I made one just a touch wider. And then I probably made it wider again. But it doesn't matter. Well, because I'm cutting that off anyway, so and then we're gonna go up. Depending on how high you want to go up. Again, try my best to balance this out. This is going to be a neat envelope. Now, if you don't want it that high and you want to go, then you can do whatever you like best. And I wished I didn't do that so prominent because... I think I don't want it to go down that far. Well, yeah, because I just should have put it up higher. But that's okay. It works this way, too. It still looks good. And this one, you don't even have to really do much to it. This is where maybe a little collage or something would come in handy with this one. This is a well-decorated envelope all on its own. So... So again, I'm just going to do my best here, put my glasses down so I get a better cut. Yeah, made a difference putting my glasses down. You can actually see the line. Now, again, this is something that if you're not, like, for me, I'm kind of talking and, you know, it sl maybe slows me down more if I'm on my own and I'm quiet, right? So it all depends. I forgot to put my glasses down. There we go. I'm grabbing my corner rounder and I'm going to just take a sip of something because my throat's a little dry. I'm taking a sip of my favorite pop, Dr. Pepper. It's my favorite and on Friday nights I treat myself to one Dr. Pepper for the week. And I don't drink diet, guys, because I can't. I can't have aspartame. So I have to drink regular pop. I have allergic reaction to tap, um, to it. It causes me extreme migraines to the point where I was actually in the hospital because I had such bad vertigo I couldn't walk. And I was seeing a neurologist and everything because it was so bad. Because um, my father died of an aneurysm. Of, in the brain at 37 so and I was 43 when I think when this started happening 44 and then after about almost a year all my tests come back you know <coughs> we went through a lot <coughs> I went through a lot <coughs> to find out that I do not do aspartame well there we go I like that and this one isn't going up as high or, wait, I'm doing it the wrong way. So I corner round it the wrong thing. <laughs> That's because I'm talking too much. <laughs> I'm in a silly mood, guys, so don't mind me. I'm a silly person. I do silly things. I say silly things. I act silly. That's just who I am. I enjoy. It's just me. It's even worse when it's me and my sister. 
one long time ago. It's been a while since we went to Dominican Republic, but me and my sister took a boat. Now, again, if you don't like it, you could trim it up to bring it down more if you don't want it that high. So you do what you think you want it, especially like maybe if you're doing it as a pocket, um, then again, I corner around it, everything wrong. So we were in Dominic probably me and her and, um, Steve, her husband now, but at the time her boyfriend, we went on a, uh, uh, my mom wanted to stay at the hotel by herself. And I think Zach, Zach went on another thing. We went for a wedding, a family wedding. So we had a lot of cousins and friends and they had friends and that one of the friends had a really, somebody his age. So they went on those um, t dirt bike type things, four wheeler type things. And me and my sister, and we went to this island. And on the way back, we stop at one area and they put, you get off the boat and it's like up to like my boobs and uh me and my sister were trying to take video underwater um together and in do, and we i with me i'm busty so i like i'm like a little bob bobble like a fishing pole blah, 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 i bobble up to the top faster than we can get the picture and you if you could have seen we have vi a video and we still watch that video and laugh our friggin heads off because we look silly and stupid and no, there are so many people around us but we don't have a care in the world we are if we weren't in the water we we might have been peeing our pants we were laughing so hard and goofing about and that's us we can't like it doesn't and we were like that as kids we would go out into the lake with an air mattress and we'd try to sit on each side and see how long we could stay before the air mattress would fold in the middle and we would go over backwards. And you know what we called it? Tea party. Let's have a tea party. Don't ask me why we called it a tea party. And another lake, we swore there was water snakes. And so we get, and we don't like the seaweed. So once you went past a certain part, you got seaweed. So we'd get on the ma air mattresses like they were boats and we'd go paddling thinking we were on an adventure chasing, catching water snakes. But we did a lot of silly things. There we go. There's another one. And that turned out really nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, some of this is going might be too long for a journal, right? Because um, I was just thinking, oh, this might look good in this one journal I have. But I think it might be too long. Yeah. But then I could put it in the side. I don't have a belly band right now in the middle of this journal, I don't think. This is a very artsy journal, out of different from what I normally do. And this already has a home. If I, I, I took it out and I've been working on it. No, I don't have a belly band. But if I had a belly band, I could clip it under and let it sit over like that. I could paper clip it in. So, or if you want it to, Let's just say we wanted to, you could add it in, into the thing, and this could become, you know, if you want it to. So, it's however you would like to use them. Let me just put that in. I've been making tags for it, and i got to make a cover. I haven't come up for a cover with it yet. <laughs> So let's just say we want to make one a bit smaller. So let's grab a tear ruler. Which one of my tear rulers do I want? I want this one. And why are my pearls on top of my... We're going to make this a bit smaller. So we're going to take this. We're going to take that off. Now she also did them this way. Right? The longwise but I don't want it longwise now I think I've really made myself yeah, I want to go this way boy that really um took me for a loop there for a sec couldn't figure that out for the life of me but I want to go this doesn't matter which way I go I don't see I don't want to lose some of the print but it doesn't matter which way I go I lose it so <clears throat> I was hoping that 
And again, you could just bring in the flap more if you need it to be shorter. Or trim it up more, whatever you want to do. Oh, Pika. Here we go. Fold it over. I didn't do a lot of wonky, guys. I didn't want to do a lot of wonky. Yeah, wonky. I should do more to show you guys. But we're not getting very far in this mass make, are we? No, we're not. I keep calling mass make because that's what I normally call it. But I like stack your stash. Huh, Pika? I was thinking this might have looked neat as a as a funky envelope. Yes, it might have. Huh, Pika Pika? What you doing, pretty girl? Huh? She always looks at me funny when I have my glasses on. She just wants love. She can't understand why I'm talking at this time of night. Normally she's upstairs sleeping. At night she doesn't sleep with me. She comes to me about 6.30 in the morning. She has a spot that's actually Jacob's spot. So it's the only time she can sleep there. She loves one of his blankets. So she curls up in his blanket and sleeps there on at his spot on the couch. Um, his spot on the couch has a, his blanket, his pillow, his squishy that he uses as another pillow. And all of his stuffies are along the back edge. Um, he loves stuffies. He hasn't outgrown them yet. Well, he's only he's only eight. He loves them. I'm corner rounding that. Maybe I want a more more um, prominent edge on this this time. There we go. I think I'm gonna do the same here. I think I want to take. They might not be even, but I don't not worried about that. You can just play around with how you want it. And this one is definitely one you're gonna have to ink. I need to add some more ink to these. I think I need to replace them. I think the pad is just so dry now that even when I put ink in it, nothing helps it. I'm going to try the water trick. See if I can do anything to help it. And then it'll just, then I'll just dye paper with it. I think that's initially what I did wrong. I used it one time to dye some paper and I think I just destroyed it. This one I, I want. I want it a little crinkled. I want it to be a little bit more aged. Okay. Clean that up a bit. I shouldn't be really inking with you guys, but at least you can see different ways you can ink it up. And to age it, just get in and start marking it and crinkling it and aging it up. Roughing it up. That's basically it. Just imagine if you're not trying to... You don't have to age them up, but I just kind of... For me, this I know if I'm going to use this one, I'm going to age it up. I thought I'd get a lot more done, guys. And I got to check that time again because I'm sure we're getting close. And you know me, I have this bad habit of not being able to say goodbye because I. There we go. Let's just run that along there, that along there. And there's another one done. Let's look at the time, see if we got time to do one more. 
we've got six minutes, guys. We'll work on one and till it shuts off. I want to thank you for joining me. What I'm going to try, guys, I want to, I'm trying to remember how I made that. I don't think I can go this big with it. Let's take it off about here. Let's see if we can make a tiny one really quickly. It's going to be a tiny one, guys, because by the time we give ourselves that fold, it's going to be tiny. But again, it could go... Oh, it's so cute. Ooh, get my... With that, I definitely need that. Fold that over. Oh, it's so cute, though. Look at how cute that is. Surprised Andre hasn't come down to see what's happening. The other day, I was on my phone with my aunt till almost 2 in the morning. And we so before it was 2 in the morning, we were... She had said something, and I just cracked up laughing, and then she cracked up laughing, and he had to come to see what... He thought I was watching something that was making me laugh like that, and it was just me and my aunt being silly on the phone. Um, <laughs> uh, we get on the phone. We were on the phone for almost four hours that night till two in the morning. And she was like, T Christina, I can't do that again. I, I, um, she's, I don't even know how old my aunt is. I think she's 70 or 71. Cause I'm trying to remember my mom is, I turned 56. So my mom is 66. So my aunt is 69, if I'm correct. Um, but anyways, and she says, I just can't do that. It, it killed me for two days. <laughs> so when we talked again this week, she was like, nope, nope, just for a few minutes. And I was like, that's okay. We already, you know, we had a good chit chat. And she's like, yeah, we did. We had a really good chit chat. But uh, we've always been like that. Sometimes when we would leave, she'd drive me home after church. Um, we'd sit out in her car and talk and talk and talk. I've always been very close to my aunt. It's my mom's sister. And I was the firstborn um, in the family. And so I just had this special bond with her. And uh, we just always were close. And... Uh, so we just talked about everything. Anyways, guys, I'm going to just, because I know we'll shut off in a minute, I want to thank you for joining me. I just, I'm going to really ask you guys, please, if you can comment on my video. It really does help. Really, really, really does. Um, and I know you could probably get tired of me asking and asking and asking. This would be cute, too. I'm not going to throw that out because can you imagine that would look... I could glue that in somewhere. Oh, that's going to be kept. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Could be perfect on a collage page. Um, I'm, I'm really trying hard. I'm, I am going to try to do some TikTok, but I'm not giving up on YouTube. I'm hoping if with TikTok, maybe I can help grow my YouTube and use the two to grow. And I do enjoy these videos so much. And uh, I just, I just, I love doing them. And yeah, technically I'm talking to myself, but I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. Because I know many of you watch those that do watch them, enjoy them. Uh, I have some that like the sound of my voice and find my voice soothing, which is, you know, I've always didn't like my voice for some reason. I always thought it was more deeper. Um, and my one of my good friends, Cindy, watched my video. She goes, oh, it's just so we hadn't seen we haven't seen each other in 17, 18 years. And she lives in the States. And she's like, it was just so nice to hear your voice again. And, you know, so, you know, those little things really, really touch me. Um, and. For me, it's not all about the numbers. Even the small group of people that it may help or enjoy it 
that's just as important to me as 